lovely Miss Diana. I think I'm gonna um, uh, start more on the hand of science high school. And today I'll be talking about therapeutic coding, a scientific tool bridging controversies and breaking barriers in science. Now, before I begin, first you must know that there are three types of coding. Does, any, does anybody here know what they are? Ubi? <laughs> therapeutic coding. Oh, that's good. <laughs> There's one, then there's another one that's cloning for like other, huh? <laughs> DNA cloning. DNA cloning. There's another one, what is it? Okay. Lisa? Reboot, that's it. Oh, yeah, reboot, that's it. Okay, so, so, the first type of cloning I will be discussed is DNA cloning. So, this basically is, shows what happens to DNA cloning. So, a bacteria will be taken to be the host for cloning. The plasma or vehicle will be um, cut with, down by restriction enzymes so that DNA gene could be placed into it. Once it is placed into the plasma, it will then be placed into the bacteria. Then the bacteria will reproduce the gene, in this case, insulin gene, and clone and produce more insulin gene. Once this is done, the scientists can take the insulin from the bacteria and place it into the patient. The second type of cloning I would, uh, I would discuss is reproductive cloning. Now, I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of Dali. The, she was cloned to reproductive cloning. So this is how she was cloned and how reproductive cloning works. So an egg was taken from this sheep here and its nucleus was removed. From this other sheep here, mammary cells were taken. The mammary cells were then fused together with the egg whose nucleus was removed by an electric current. Once it was fused together, the cycle was placed back into the sheet so it could develop. When it developed, that's how Dali was born. Now, Dali was born in the year 1996 and died in the year 2003. Does anybody know what the cause of his death was? Yes. No, it was a I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, James. Okay, because. I think it was because since the sheep was really old, it had old cells, so since it was old, it was like already old and it was like a Alright, so um, well Daddy, she died of old age and scientists believe that she suffered from premature aging problems as she was born old due to the fact that she her DNA was from an older sheep. Because the sheep was old already. Okay, and finally um, therapeutic cloning, which I'll be talking for the rest of my presentation, and this is pretty much the overview. I'll go into detail on how it works. And so, therapeutic cloning depends on a technique known as somatic nuclear transfer, and it takes healthy cells to create copies that can be used as a source of perfectly matched transplants to replace or repair damaged or diseased tissue, and in much years with much research organ. Now, therapeutic can be used. Patients, including those with diabetes, for example. As you can see, taking insulin shots, she needs a better pancreas cell transfer. So, in this body, her pancreas cannot produce insulin, regulates the sugar level in the body. The way therapeutic cloning will help a diabetic child is as follows. A healthy cell will be taken from the patient. Donate an egg from a Will be it will then be removed, and by an electric current, um, the healthy skin cell and the egg will be fused together. So once it's fused together, it will let, it will be grown. Then it will go, and when it's process is stage, will be taken, will then be taken from this um this in a cell mass right here, and it will be cultured so that it we could differentiate. So, so morphogen will differentiate the cells to what we want. In this case, we want better pancreatic isolate cells. So once we have this, it will be transferred back into the patient. Now the patient will no longer have diabetes, and she can enjoy her ice cream, which looks really good, without having to worry about taking her insulin shots. So, right. so summary. So now you know that therapeutic cloning depends on a technique called somatic nucleus cell transfer and it's taking healthy cells to create copies that can be used as a, a perfectly matched transplant to replace tissue and organs. And also, since therapeutic cloning is like basically taking your own cells, there will be no immune reduction. That means that there will be no need to take powerful medications after a transplant. So now the patient won't have to worry about you know the consequences of forgetting to take 
their medication and their transplant. And also there will be no waiting list. And other than those with diabetes, it can help patients with kidney failure, heart failure, those who have been paralyzed, and countless others. So this sounds like a good thing, right? So why aren't we doing it? Well, this leads to its limitations, like the political issues, a lot in the United States, created by George Bush when he came into office in the year 2001. He stated that Tony was morally wrong. So without my political support, scientists don't have economic support, which is why we're not even allowed to think about it. Well, we can think about it, but we can't do it. <laughs> and also, there are moral issues like religion and science, and ethical issues, the availability of eggs and the science. Religious view on this technology. Well, I'm a member of a Catholic Church, and I wanted to see its opinion, like its view on it. So I asked my priest about it, and he told me that Coney, like in general, was not religiously correct or right. That he also he doesn't agree with the church doesn't agree with any type of Coney, even the cloning of animals, because they were able to clone animals, and that means that we're closer to cloning humans. And then at the end, it's only for money. It's not even to help a humanity. But even though there are those in the church who disagree with it, there are those who will support it even though they know they shouldn't. For example, my instructor, the religious educator, she said that it's a good thing because it'll help humanity, but it's not religiously right. She also said that it was because the way the church is, it's old-fashioned, and they don't understand how this new technology works as much as we do. And also the ethical issues, women's right, because as you might remember, there was an egg and it was being offered money. Well, that's because women get offered money to donate the eggs. They get offered from anywhere from fifteen thousand dollars to twenty-five thousand dollars. It's to donate the eggs because it's needed to be used in therapeutic cloning. Now, girls, before you, you know, think about going to get your eggs donated, you first you have to know the facts. Okay, so basically, if you want to donate your eggs, you have to go under undergo a series of questions. After this, you have to go under medical examinations. And if you're eligible, you have to go under a long procedure, a medical procedure. So as you can see, if you're eligible, hormone stimulation injections was um, shot into your ovaries, which kind of looks painful. And so that, it will release, it'll cause your ovaries to release more than one egg, which is usually released during a cycle. And then once this is done, when it, the eggs are being retrieved, there will be something placed up into the vagina to retrieve the egg. But that has some side effects. So side effects don't need. And you saw a woman basically could have an allergic reaction to the medication. The structure of the organs can be damaged. So the black of the uterus. It could also cause acute ovarian trauma, infection, um, infertility, vaginal laceration, and in cases women have been hospitalized. After it can also cause ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, which will cause some mild pain side effects. Um, you can also have mood swings and bruising of the area in which the child is giving, menopause-like symptoms, and that's so torsion. And also, if the medication is taking too long, it can increase the chances of having ovarian cancer, which is not curable. Okay, so the front runners in this field. As you can see, the United Kingdom is ahead. Then come Asian countries, and as you can see, the United States is in fact due to the fact that the law was created by George Bush. But hopefully, once he's out of office, that act, out of office, the act will be removed so that we could catch the United Kingdom and pass them. Because we have the intelligence to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the future. With more research, therapeutic cloning, whole organs, and safety. These are my I acknowledge my I would like to take Howard Hughes Medical Institution. Um, Ms. Lorraine, who isn't here. Maya Omar James Umi, the RTSW, yeah. and yes. has College Department of Biology. Okay. And people who came here to support me. Yeah. <laughs>